Hello Creighton families, this is Miss Fitzpatrick and this is just a quick tutorial on how to access and use Bug Club. So Bug Club should work on most browsers but if you are using Safari um, then you will need to change some of your settings. Um, so what you will need to do is you'll need to go into the settings menu which is a little cog app that should be displayed on your screen uh, once you've opened that this screen should appear then what you're wanting to do is on the left hand side scroll down until you find safari click on that and then on the right hand side scroll down to the bottom until you get to privacy and settings and at privacy and settings there is a tab that says provide prevent sorry cross site tracking what you want to do is you want to take that tab off and that will help you to access Bug Club when you are using Safari. So when you want to access Bug Club, you enter the website that is at the top with the arrow pointing at it, which is activelearnprimary.co.uk and this is the home page that will appear. All you need to do next is click the login button, which will take you to the login page, which appears like this. Next, what you need to do is enter your username, your password, and the school code, which is displayed on the screen. It is ACTG, but this information should be provided by your teacher. So once you have logged on, this is the homepage that should appear. At the very top of the screen, you'll see that there is a menu with my home, my stuff, my library, my rewards, log out and a tab for grown ups. At the moment, we are going to click on my stuff, which will take you to the books that your teacher has set for you. You have guided reading and you have independent reading. So clicking on the guided reading, then what you do is you press the open button. This will open your book and it will get you started on your reading. And this lo loading page will appear waiting for your book to load. And once your book has loaded, it should look something like this. You can scroll along the pages as you read. And to close the book, there is an X on the right hand corner, click that and this text box will appear. You can either keep reading but we will close the book for now. And then what will happen is once you press close book, it will take you back to your homepage. It will also give you rewards for finishing um, your book. So that is a, more, a bigger incentive to make sure that you're reading your books at home. Now what we're going to do is we are going to click the independent tab. This is the books that have been set by your teacher for you to read at home and practice on your reading. So if we click the book that we have been set and then again this loading page will show as it is opening your book. As you can see, the book opens very similar to your guided read and you click at the bottom next to keep reading along and practicing your reading. You may come to a page that has a little bug icon where the arrow is pointing right now. This is for you to complete some work. So if you click on the bug, it will take you to the activity. The activity is linked to the book that you have just read and this is the activity for this book when you have clicked the bug. Simply complete this and then at the very bottom you can go back to the book once you have completed it. By pressing this button it just takes you back to your book and you can continue on with your reading. Once you're ready to close the book at the very bottom right hand corner where the arrow is pointing, you can press the X. Then this text box will appear and you can just simply press close book. This will then take you back 
to your home page and here you can access my library. The screen will then scroll along to your library and if you hover your cursor, hover the mouse over the door, a little spider should appear and you can click in there to access all your books that are in your library. This shall appear and all the books that you have in your library will be shown here. Press the close button. That'll take you back to the library page. And after that, you can press my home and that will take you all the way back to your home page. Once you're back at your home page, there is a little tab that says grown ups where the arrow is pointing right now. If you click on this, it will take you to a help page for the grown ups helping the children at home. On this page, there is a lot of helpful links um, to help you support your child at home. I hope this tutorial was helpful and hopefully it makes things easier for you to access and use Bug Club at home.